I'm Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And I'm here with my sons, McGregor and Quinn, and we're doing an activity called Pico Fermi Bagels that comes from one of my favorite books, Family Math. And it's also in my book, Math Positive Mindsets. So how you play this game is, I'm gonna think of a three digit number. No two digits are repeated, and there's no zero in the hundreds place, okay? You're gonna make a guess, and then I'm gonna give you some feedback about your guess. If I say Pico, that means one of the digits is correct, but it's in the wrong spot. If I say Fermi, that means one of the digits is correct and it's in the right spot. And if I say bagels, that's a big old nothing. None of the digits is correct, not in the number anymore. Okay? okay? All right, Quinn, why don't you do the first guess for us? Okay. 471. 471 is, and I wrote the number down because <laughs> I'm old and I can't remember. Fairy. Pico. <gasps> That means one of these digits is in the number. Okay, McGregor. 162? 162. 162. So he thinks that it was the one. He kept the one. And that is a Pico. 424. Four. Now, no two digits are going to be correct, are going to be repeated. So okay. what do you want to do? 421. Four, yeah, you're right. 421 oh, is Pico. Fermi. Oh, Pico Fermi. That means one of the digits is correct, but it's in the wrong spot, and one of them is correct, and it's in the right spot. Okay, I know this. Um, okay. Four, one, three. Four, one, three is Pico. Pico? Only one Pico? Just one Pico. Wait. Okay. We'll look so back through. That's, that's weird. Okay. All right. Quinn, do you have an idea? Okay, okay. One seven, of these was right. Four, one. Seven, four, four one. one is still a Pico. Oh, oh, I think I know. Nine, mm. two, one. Nine, two, one is so fair me. Fair me. So two of those digits are correct. Can you look back through and see? We need to keep the nine. I know that. You think the nine's a keeper, Quinn? Yep. So really? Nine. Yeah. You think the two's a keeper or the one? Uh, maybe we keep. Maybe it's nine four one. Nine four one. <gasps> nine. I, I know. Four, four one, one is. Fermi, Fermi, Fermi. No. Nope. Fermi, Fermi, Fermi. It's Fermi, Pico. Yeah, so okay. what do you think, Quinn? We lost one of our okay, okay. Fermis here. Okay. Okay. We, yeah, the, we need to keep the two. Nine. Nine two eight. Nine two eight. Yep. Let's see. Nine two eight is Fermi. Fermi. So look back through. <gasps> Wait. Do you see? We had a Fermi Fermi here. Okay. Then we had a Fermi Pico here. Okay. We, lost we need to keep the nine but we got a and Pico. two. We need to keep the nine and the two. Do you have a guess about what the last digit is? Oh. I think I see what was throwing us off. What do you see? That's a Pico a zero, lot through here. Zero, zero. It's not a zero. That's still Fermi, Fermi. Okay, keep the nine two z nine two. Okay. Okay. Um. Nine two seven. Mm, it's not nine two seven. Then nine two one. That's all. Look back at your guesses. Nine two four. It's nine two four. Fermi, Fermi, Fermi. I Woo! knew it was a nine because Give I. Give me five. It took a lot of reasoning. I know, <laughs> because I stopped right here. I hope nine. you're having a fun time building math positive mindsets and reasoning skills with your kids. Thanks. Because I saw 